I really appreciate you guys being here. I want you guys to look at each other and think about it. Every time I look at you guys, I don't see a person, I don't see a name, I don't see anything. All I see when I look at you guys, I see one person who has been through a lot. And each person has been through a lot and has learned basis in life. During these basis, you gotta think it like this. Give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day. Teach a man how to fish, he'll eat for a lifetime. This is the basis that we wanna give for her. This basis is very simple. We don't wanna give her the business ready. We don't wanna give her everything ready for her. We want to teach her how to do it herself. And this is our goal, this is our mission. We want to take her to the next step. Our mission for Zainab's Yogurt is to improve her advertising and marketing plan because as of right now, she has none. Her label consists of her name, which is not the way to promote her product. We plan to improve her advertising and marketing plan by creating logos, business cards, stickers, and posters. All right, for her logo, we really wanted to capture her personality so that customers felt calm and invited when they see this pr product. By looking at her, you can see what she looks like, what you would normally see if you're walking down the street and you would be able to notice her. You would be able to feel the calmness of the first bite when you have some of her yogurt. For her flavors, we talked to her and discussed the flavors she already has available, and we decided that there needs to be a way to differentiate them from the rest of them. So we decided to create something that was fun and colorful for the children in smaller packaging, yet still professional enough to sell in more more professional type environments that she currently does. So we decided to add a little color band below the logo with the name of the flavor so that not only when you decide what flavor you want, but after over time you find your favorite flavor, you just go in the store and are able to grab the one based off the color. The poster that we created for her business it's, it's very simple, it's eye-catching and it's unique. Uh, it can be very simple and inexpensive. And the more people see it around the community, uh, the more they see it, they recognize the face, and they recognize the logo, and they know it's hers. Uh, business cards and stickers. Obviously, business cards would be for older people, adults. And especially if she wants to continue making custom orders for people that request it, she would need a business card because she would need a way for people to contact her. And stickers would be more for children. If children want to wear stickers or just put it wherever they want, you always know that it's, it's her brand. So quickly, could anyone, could everyone wait, raise their hand if they know what the symbol is? Okay. So the reason that most of you know the symbol almost automatically is because of a concept called branding. This is what we want to do for Zanob's Yogurt. We decided to focus on the advertising and marketing aspect of her business because we believe that is what her business needs now. She does not have a large enough customer base to start making new flavors or adding preservatives because she doesn't have enough people to sell to. So, by creating a new logo, business cards, posters, and stickers will help her create a brand. In conclusion, with these new marketing strategies, her business will thrive. We are grateful to have had the opportunity to work with Zanab and thank you all for listening. First thing first, um, I deeply appreciate the confidence you have and uh, your first thought is actually um, not just for her but for all of us that are here actually it's an inspiration. Yeah. And definitely your step by step process on how you can be able to make her business live. And um, I would like to commend you on your logo. Yeah, the logo it looks she looks peaceful and uh, she's kind of like smiling. I kind of 
it's just like, okay, yeah, Zenith, this is just a prototype of it. So, and uh, it's unique because uh, a lot of people don't use something like this, but I know definitely it's going to make a lot of sense. And by you specifying different flavors of your of our yogurt, actually applying colors and stuff like that is quite um, a technique. Because I know I experience things like that a lot. Uh, I went to a shop and I want to take the yogurt. So I'm looking for a sweet yogurt, then I take the non sweet one. So when I took it, I said, what? What's wrong with that? The guy forgot to add the sugar or what? So I was kind of like, okay, yeah. But had it been, they make it very clear. So I would have that problem. So your idea is actually brilliant and uh, I love it. <laughs> So you get what um, I consider to be a streamlined presentation in that you selected one one challenge, addressed it, and did a, an amazing job of addressing it. Um, I think the logo was stunning. Um, very simple, easy to identify, which is important branding. So I, on that, I commend you. You guys, yeah, you took an idea, you ran with it, and it was great. And like. The, the small subsets of how she can brand differently, the banana and everything, that's fantastic. It's allowing you to not change the logo, but let everyone know about it. It's like the G2 Gatorade and things like that. I didn't change the Gatorade logo, but I definitely know what I'm getting. And it's such a practical solution to an actual problem. As you are talked about, it's a real problem people deal with every day. And just in general to all the yogurt teams, we've never had a business owner be able to come back on Sunday and have four logos that you can choose from. Um, you guys all did an amazing job. I'm so excited. If she's not a millionaire you know, in the next five years, it's not because you guys didn't try in this room here, everybody. So just especially you guys with the, with the branding, amazing job. Round of applause. Join the Global Young Innovators Initiative. Transform the world. www.icantransformtheworld.org